is the Freeman family. Their story is one of beating the odds and strengthened bonds in the midst of darkness. I was diagnosed with uh, metastatic prostate cancer in uh, 2014, September. Have had uh, surgery, have had chemotherapy and two lots of radiotherapy. But as we speak, uh, thank goodness due to the, the care that I've had from all of my medical um, uh, practitioners looking after me, uh, there's no active cancer noticeable at present. So that's uh, fantastic. The chemo was daily and the radiotherapy was daily and it was very intense. And uh, we just looked at it as an opportunity to, when we weren't doing that, we were doing all the things that we possibly could to enjoy our, our life together. Mm. I was an orthopaedic surgeon. Um, I'd. Uh, had done a lot of trauma, uh, road trauma surgery at the Alfred up until about 2010, and I then retired from there but continued on at the Western Hospital. Part of my graduate practice is the, the fact that I've had a career where I've, had to, I've been able to help people. I look back and I think, that's amazing. You know, how lucky have I been to be in a, in a caring profession. And it's this sort of incredible selflessness that Morris Finance love to celebrate. So we are sending Rick Skyward. I've lived in Melbourne for all but four of my 66 years and I've never seen Melbourne like this. I've been in a helicopter once before. Years ago I was an intern uh, at the Alfred Hospital, rotated to Frankston and um, there was a, a poor gentleman who had a head injury and he had to be flown up to the Alfred. The patient sort of came a bit uh, agitated and started to kick his feet up and down and the pilot suddenly whacked his hands on his feet and I thought, continued to fly with one hand, I thought, oh that's not so good. And I said, well shouldn't you be using two hands? And he said, well no, because where his feet are there's the main on off switch and if he kicks that we go down. There are a lot of choices you can make, you can let the illness define you, um, but I think what mum and dad have been particularly good at um, has been bringing a really positive attitude. The upside, the silver lining, to this really big the cloud of, of cancer has been that we we can find all the beautiful moments and we share them and we hold on to them and we talk about them mm. and we find new ones. Mum and I and James um, couldn't be couldn't be luckier to have a, a dad that's so gentle, so kind um, and just takes so much in your stride mate. So yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this, this ride. Um, it's pretty phenomenal, isn't it? Absolutely. But gee, thanks, Ed, for saying that. That's really, that means a lot to me, son. It really does.